For this lesson, I'm going to cover how to install Fedora 21 on VirtualBox. Before we go into Fedora 21 installation steps, let's talk about what Fedora is. Fedora is a popular open source Linux operating system distribution developed and supported by the Fedora project. The Fedora project is a partnership of free software community members from around the globe. Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat. Lastly, the Fedora workstation is reliable, user-friendly, and a powerful operating system for your laptop and desktop computers. Now then, let me show you how to install Fedora 21 on VirtualBox. Okay, first navigate to Google and type in Fedora. Click on Fedora. We want the workstation version. Scroll down and click Get Fedora Workstation. Okay, here it talks about what live, the live image is, some documentation or other resources. This is the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version. We will get the 64-bit version. Download. Okay, it's downloading. It's going to take a bit depending on the power of your internet. It's a 1.4 gigabyte uh, file. Open up VirtualBox and click on New, top left. Okay, type in Fedora. Click Next. Okay, for the memory size, I'm going to change mine to 2 gig. Next. 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 And Next. I'm just going to leave it as default. OK, click on Settings. Go to Advanced. Change it to Bidirectional for both. I'm going to set my processor to 4. OK, let's find our image file that we downloaded. Fedora. OK, it's there. OK, let's change this to Bridged. OK. And Start. OK, click on Install to Hard Drive on the right-hand side. OK, we'll just leave as default. English, English, continue. OK, from here you want to click on Installation Destination. Now you want to verify that the hard disk is checked, which it is. Click on Done. Make sure that your date and time is in the correct time zone. Mine is. Then click on Begin Installation. Click on Root Password. Here, set your root password. Make it strong. Confirm it, done, and then create a username. Again, make it strong. I don't want this account to be an admin, just a regular user. Hit done. And now you just wait for Fedora 21 to install.
Okay, when the installation is complete, you can click on quit at the bottom right. Okay, now you have Fedora 21 installed. Okay, before you restart it, you want to go to Devices, CD slash DVD device, and click on Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. Force it, and now you can restart it. And the reason why you do that is you don't want the OS to run off the image file. You want it to run off the hard drive that you installed it onto. Okay, now I'm going to log on to my normal account, the one I created earlier. Signed in. Okay, let's keep everything default. Click on next, next, and next. All right, let's open up a terminal, type in terminal. Okay, we're going to type in su for super user. Type in my root password. Now we're going to use the yum command to get the latest updates for Fedora 21. Yeah, you're just doing this to make sure that you have, again, the latest updates. Okay, well, that's it. Well, hopefully uh, you learned something. Give it a shot. Try to install it on your VirtualBox and play around with it. Okay, thank you for watching.